Welcome back, CRK fans, to another exhibition match. This is going to be Clone and Silencer on Battle for Planet 17. Which is... Actually, I haven't shown off in a while, but I'm not going to go over too much detail, because I've shown it recently enough, I think. New. Get started right away. Clone in the north side of the map going for cloaky bots, while Silencer in the southeast side of the map also going for cloaky bots. And a map like this, that's not at all surprising. It's fairly small. Once again, like Baron, as we saw last game. And as you saw last game, Clone wasn't quite sure what to do with jumpy bots. I mean, he raided not as well as he would have liked. But he's going for cloaky this time. He's going for three glaives, so a decent amount of raiding, while. Silence is going for 100 glaives, so he's going to go for all the raiding. No, actually, he's just, he plays like that. It's Randy and Silence are both like that. It's kind of a TA habit, just to get... Instead of using, using the infinite build queue thing, the repeat build, they just build hundreds of units at a time. So, it is... Well... Glaive fight here, Clone and Silence are none of them losing their glaives, just retreat, heal up, and attack again. They are both aware of the other's factories, though. They aren't aware of the commanders, but that really doesn't matter that much. Both of them actually, or Silence are going for Recon Com, Clone going for his Support Com. Which, basically just a Beam Laser at this point. It was a Beam Laser e -cell Com, but I don't think he's actually gone and changed that yet. Not sure if he has so far, but this is a fairly recent game, so I imagine he hasn't actually gone around to changing that. And Silence are expanding to the south, not expanding to the north as well, just expanding along the south side of the map. Clone expanding to the northwest. Slower than Silencer is, expanding into the center as well. And also setting up... Actually, is he going to raid out? He is going to raid out! He is going... Looks like he is going to start raiding out the side expansion right here. Trying to make sure that Silencer is not going to be allowed to expand with impunity. But Silencer does have some glaze in defense for that, just in case that's going to happen. And it looks like... Clone is going to lose one of his glaives here in the center. Randy pushing through the center. Clone, is he going to go around to the side? He might be. He's... No, he's pushing away. He's he's avoiding the Conjurers. These Conjurers are undefended. Why? Why, Clone? Go after them. Kill it. Raid. Deal some damage. Okay, apparently not. He is instead going back. He doesn't really have a whole lot to defend his base with. He might get some Warriors fairly soon, or might just try to out-glaive Micro Silencer. See how that goes, though. He does have some defenders being built up. He does have one Lotus. He hasn't quite gotten a solar panel wall, though. And Clone pushing back, he... I'm just surprised he didn't raid this out. I really am. I mean, yeah, okay, there's a bunch of glaives coming in. He knows that's happening. I mean, he does have raid... No, he doesn't have radar, actually. He doesn't... He's just guessing more than anything. He doesn't have radar, but he does have the glaives coming in now. And they are going to come in right before the defender is done. Glaives are coming in for Clone right now. And he does have a wear as well fairly soon, but possibly not soon enough. A lot of his energy... He's invested in both his commander and in his solar panels, but he doesn't have much of it at this point. He has 11 energy. He can only... He can't really push anything out of the factory faster than the factory itself can push things out. Silencer does push back. Doesn't want to donate too much metal, but he's still got the map control advantage by far. I mean, Silencer took the south side with impunity. Nothing stopped him from that. The east side is kind of his for now, and basically just the northwest of this ridge is what Clone maybe has. Clone actually did lose this metal extractor up front as well, so it's kind of tough. He's going to go rebuild that, but that being said, not in the best position. Going for a bit of a counterattack, but right now Silencer does have an economic advantage. He does have no production advantage. He's actually starting to float metal. He's getting more and more energy so he can start to spend that metal, but he could actually spend the metal right now. Yeah, getting a Lotus in the center of the map, that's going to be problematic for Clone to deal with. He can get through it, but it's going to... His glaives, not so much. The Warriors will have no problems, and if he builds Rockos as well, that's going to be fine. But now going, now going for this Metal Extractor, I think it's a little bit late here. I mean, like I said, he could have killed the Metal Extractor before it was done with the Chondra when it was being built in the first place. But now he doesn't have much of a chance, unfortunately. He has to retreat once again, and Silencer is starting to surround his glaives, getting, well, still pushing his own glaives, now getting a Caretaker. Silencer will be able to get a production advantage with his economic advantage. Clone, not really pushing that yet, is getting a Warrior. Just well, 15 seconds left in order to get that, which will be very useful to deal with these glaives. That is a big thing. If he gets rid of the glaives and is able to stop further glaives from coming in, that's going to give Clone time to stabilize. But right now, Clone is on the back foot. Not hugely, but he is still on the back foot. He does have some room he can expand. He does have some areas he can go that are fairly safe, but it's tough. There's a lot of places that Silencer can attack him. Clone, keeping his glaives around the map just to make absolutely sure that he's not going to lose them too trivially. 
or rather lose his base too trivially. The glaives themselves are fine if they go down, but he needs to make sure he knows what Silencer is up to. And at this point, Clone only has radar of basically his top third of the map, while Silencer, on the other hand, has radar of the bottom half and glaives everywhere, so even more line of sight. Tagging the glaives over to the north, and this is what I meant exactly where the glaives needed to at least buy some time. Clone, aware of this, however, he is put, moving into position. The warrior is not in position. The warrior is over here instead, which is still a good position to be in. So glaives over defending the east side of the map, warrior defending the west side of the map. The warrior will be fine. The glaives over here, however, that's where it's going to be, well, terrain advantage. Terrain advantage is really where Clone is going to win this out. Moving out of there, and that, well, Silencer has to move back, but he does know where Clone is investing a lot of his glaives. That being said, Silencer doesn't have a whole lot to fight those with right now. Getting more glaives, getting... Well, with... Okay, he doesn't have a whole lot of metal. He only has 26 metal... Well, 26 metal income at 18 energy. Energy is the bond like at the moment. And Battle for Planet 17 is not that high, so these wind generators are not necessarily getting a lot of energy. On the other hand, Clone is going for mostly solar collectors. So he's got a bit more of a reliable energy base. That, although Silencer does have more solar collectors, he does have wind generators on a much higher part of ground. These are going to be more cost effective, so Silencer now getting his energy economy up, he can push these units out, 25 metal to this factory at a time. Going to be able to get an army advantage fairly quickly, but that warrior... That warrior is going to be the big difference maker, because the warriors coming in here are going to have a clone just unit type advantage. They can just get rid of these glaives fast enough that the army advantage for Silencer is not being built up in time. So it's not at all surprising if Clone is able to pull this out. Assuming that Silencer does not switch over to Rocco's, but it doesn't think he's going to. He's going entirely for Glaives. Why is he going for Glaives? I'm not sure about that one. But he does have... Well, he's got Warriors to fight against. He And a bunch of Glaives coming in. And Rocco's as well from Clone. So Clone's going for a nice unit mix. While Silencer is just going for hundreds and hundreds of Glaives. So it was, well, I mean, these glaives are going to go probably die. It will come down maybe to micro, but I think there's too many glaives here for micro. It'll basically come down to initial positioning, but it's going to be line on line. If there was a flank or something, I'd say that clone has a pretty good chance here, but I don't know. Center of the map is pretty solidly silencers, and he is trying to push forward with that knowledge. That he does the center basically under his control. Light particle beam and speed on his commander. Going to flank out these warriors as best he can. And the Glaives need to retreat back. They are going to push back into the Warriors, and now Silencer are going to lose, well, as many Glaives as he doesn't retreat to those Warriors. Moving them back fairly nicely. Silencer has to get out of there, but like I said, the center of the map does belong to Silencer. These Warriors are going to push in here, try to get rid of as many Defenders and Lotuses as they can. The Defenders won't be a problem, but the Lotuses, especially with this Warrior being damaged at about a third of its health, that is going to be a problem. Center's starting to be taken there, and Rocco's getting rid of this metal extractor that Silencer has set up inside of Clone's territory. These warriors are not going to have much of a chance. They are... I mean, they're powerful, but they are trying to go uphill into a bunch of lotuses against a commander with a particle beam. Not the best option. And now the Rocco's are in place as well. That is going to counter them out. The only upside the warrior has is because of the hill, the Rocco has to get into the warrior range. But the warrior, even with that, is going to have a hard time. He needs to fall back. Rocco's coming in for support, at the same time, Glaives are coming on the east side of the map, they are taking out Clone's Commander, and down goes Clone's Commander, along with a couple of Lotuses. Glaives still able to get through, and this set of Glaives just breaks open the east side of the map, opening Clone up quite a lot here, and that, of course, has a naked expand over to the east side of the map, at the same time, Clone is attacking to the west. There are some defenses here, the defenders are all exhausted, and the Glaives are going to come in here after that volley, tear that to complete shreds. Lotus is a bit of a problem, but the Glaives, four Glaives should be able to deal with it. And Clone not going for it. Unfortunately, losing the Glaives, it looks like he wasn't paying much attention here. Same time, the center of the map, we do have a lot of Rockos just browning, motioning it up, so that'll get back to that once they're done, I suppose. They are probably going to try to go for the commander, but the other Rockos getting in the way. They, this is not where Clone is paying attention to these Glaives. He wants to harass out this entire wind farm, and he's going to be able to do that too. Silence of Glaives just coming around the back, but it's not going to be fast enough. All the wind generators are actually close enough that they are damaging each other as well, so that's just making the lives of those glaives easier. Clone, all but four wind generators he gets out, or takes care of all but four of them. That is a lot of nice damage there. Now, Clone, on the other hand, does have these rockers here. He is starting to get pushed back into his territory. Still doesn't really have map control. He's been...
dealing some damage over to the west side of the map, but anytime he wants, Silencer can come along the east side of the map and just tear apart this naked expansion, and then Clone's gonna have much worse economy. He's gonna have a really hard time getting through. Not sure if he's gonna dedicate any forces to do that. I don't think Silencer is aware of this. No, he is, actually. He's sending a bunch of forces over to the... Or was planning to send a bunch of forces over to the northeast. He's relented on that, but still, he could do that if he liked. He does have an army advantage as well. Air switch for clone. I'm expecting phoenixes just to get rid of all these glaives. Once the phoenixes come in, it's going to be probably turned around. But right now, clone is not doing well. And I'm not going to get into the nature of Brownian motion right now. But suffice to say, it's basically... Someone looked at the way that, I think it was motion of T that was completely inert, and the particles in there went, and the guy's name was Brown. Anyway, the clone is coming in here. Anyway, the the way that rockers look, it just looks like, it just looks like that. It looks like stuff just moving around in a cup of tea. Now, as I was saying, clone is coming in here. Sorry, sounds is coming in here, getting from the naked expand. Went through the Lotus, though, but even then... Even going through the Lotus, he still is going to be able to get rid of all these Med Lake Strashers for free. Probably get rid of these Conjurers, too. Clone coming in here with a couple Warriors, but that's not going to be enough. All these Med Lake are going down. Clone is losing his economic advantage. Or, not even advantage, but economic parity. Not building anything in his Air Factory yet. I don't know. He's not paying attention. He's now paying attention to the Air Factory. Looks like he's setting up Phoenixes, as expected. A little bit off the ball there, though. And Clone also losing a lot of his... Glaive, surprisingly, to Rocco is not going to the Rocco, not attacking them, just trying to dodge them out, which is a little bit surprising. Although, this number of Rocco's not terribly, but yeah, Glaive's kind of counter Rocco's. Going, however, if he positions his Rocco's well, he could actually get rid of a lot of. Oh, never mind. Nice tick shot there. Looks like there is going to be fun some follow up, but there's also going to be some defense, and Silencer's commander is coming into position. Double speed, and okay, never mind. Speed and armor is gr that's great and all, but Phoenix coming in here to deal with the stunned out units to finish them off, that is going to be painful. More Phoenixes coming in here. I don't know if any gremlins are coming up. No gremlins apparently, but there is an air factory. Likely to get some Swifts and Hawks to deal with these Phoenixes. But in the meantime, that's a lot of rockers that are going to take damage and go down. All of them going to go down, actually. Silencer's entire Rocco army pretty much going down. At least, well, okay, half of his army is going down. So Clone has now evened up the field in terms of army advantage. He's got army parity now, got economic parity, and at this point, these Phoenix are still around, gonna get army advantage, and this is all in Clone's territory. There's a lot of reclaim going for him. He appreciates Silencer's donations, that is sure. But it looks like it is going to be still not the easiest fight. Clone is coming in here, taking out the center defense, taking out some of the center army, and like I said, Hawks coming in here for Silencer, just to get rid of those. No real anti-air has been set up for either player. Well, air ground-based anti-air at least. However, the Lotus is still able to get rid of that Hawk. That Hawk will be able to take care of one of one of the Phoenixes does go down. The Hawk, however, goes down as well. But that does still happen a bit too late. Silencer still is pushing a lot into his factory, still is pushing a lot into getting unit count. But there was parity there, at least for a bit. So Silencer, not quite as ahead as he would like. But actually, despite the fact that this is inside of Clone's territory, Silencer is the one reclaiming most of it. And Rock is going out, but Silencer just reclaiming more and more of that. That's why Clone is trying to set up some anti-air of his own. Got a couple Hawks of his own. Gonna lose... No, not even lose one of his. Just barely saves one of his. But at this point, Clone has air control, at least for now, in that area. But still not able to get rid of that particular commander. Nothing in place to do so at the same time. Center of the map, we do have recon... Sorry, not recon. We have Rocco's coming in. The Rocco's are going to be just... Well, holding ground. I mean, Silencer is pushing pretty heavily into Clone's territory. So despite... Actually, also, Clone has been reclaiming his commander in that whole area. So, Clone is getting quite a bit of reclaim off that, but still. At this point, Silencer's commander is retreating, but successfully so. Not having to worry too much about it. And air control is going to... Silencer. Clone has not started investing gremlins at all. He's not focused on that. I don't know. I think at this point we're going to start seeing... There we go. I was going to say Phoenixes. Phoenixes or Ravens going to be starting to be built up for Silencer, given that he has air control. Slightly painful to get it, but still he has air control. Cobra coming in just to make sure that... I guess the... Phoenix... The Sorry. Phoenixes don't have the best time. No Ravens, by the way. 
But the Phoenix is one of the easiest time to get in, but even then, harassment now coming along the south side for Clone, but that harassment, as I mentioned before, really too little too late. I don't know why Clone did not make that harassment earlier. That's kind of bugs me. However, these Hawks are going down. Air control's kind of evened out a bit, and actually, with all the Hawks in play, it looks like Clone has a chance of evening out air control thanks to that loss, loss of those two Hawks. So these Hawks are going to be coming up, and possibly from their Phoenixes for Clone once again. But given the amount of Phoenixes that Silencer is going for, well, I don't know. Building quite a few Hawks is getting rid of Silencer's Air Force entirely. That could just work out. Did work out in the Iceland game we saw against Randy. So it might work against Silencer as well. And Clone pushing forward. Nice surround. Good timing. Just waiting for that those Rockos to be in a bad, particularly bad spot. No Glaive support. All the Rockos go down to the Glaives that Clone is sending out. And Clone, however, going back here, he's... Kind of be more of an even fight, has to retreat out of there, losing a lot of his glaives in the process, but still, he got rid of a lot of Rockos. Silencer reclaiming as best as he can around this area. And it's actually not bad, never mind, I shouldn't say as best as he can, he's reclaiming quite well. Reclaiming everything that's there, that really... Clone... It's kind of clones, honestly. And Silencer losing a lot of his... His Phoenixes are dealing damage though, they are attacking, but they aren't being able to attack twice. Still, that is the first attack is getting in. That's still dealing a lot of damage. More Phoenix is coming up for Clone. He's confident in his air control once again. And at this point, Silencer has retaken air control. That real tug of war in the air right now. Clone, he can try though. And the thing with the Phoenix is that they do basically get one shot off for free. However, that shot was a complete miss. Clone's got to be careful he doesn't walk through his own fireball. But yeah, that was a complete miss. Unfortunately for him. But he's starting to push back Silencer a bit. Bit of an army disadvantage once again, though a lot of the army value is being invested into the commander. Silencer is morphing his commander, but halfway down to level 3. Not investing too heavily in the commander, mind you, but he is still investing in it. If he loses that commander, that's a lot of his army value gone. Admittedly, that commander has primarily been useful at this point for reclaim. Not sure what he has to level 3, though. Not going to be concussion shot. That's been removed from the Raycon com, but not sure what it is going to be. I'm curious. We may find out it's... A little over halfway done, and another Phoenix shot comes in over to the northeast, hitting more defenders. Really, that's all it's hitting. That's all there is to hit. There's not a whole lot of economy right here. It's just defenders, probably trying to break it open for the ground forces. But it's not going to matter. Four Phoenixes come in to tear apart the entire economy. Everything that Silencer has, all of his wind generators, starting to burn his factory too. It's going to get rid of the caretakers. That's really the big damage, and the economy as well. Getting rid of the rest of the wind generators. Nice shot there. Same thing that happened in, well, similar thing happened in Iceland. Not in the main base, it was to the north side, to the island, or the peninsula base, but still, that was very nice shot there by Klon. Dealing with basically everything that Silencer had for economy, for energy economy. Silencer now going from like 70 energy to 16 or so. Trying to rebuild it as best he can with this one conjurer, but not sure how long that's going to last. At this point, Klon, he is retaking his territory, he is reclaiming everything in his territory. And that is going to be effective, but... Silencer, not done yet. Moving forward with his commander, he does want to get get a good well, get a good battle in. He does have economic parity over sorry, military parity, not economic parity. Economic advantage is to clone. And Commander is however moving in. It is level three now. It's double particle beam. Double high power particle beam just pushing in. That's what it's doing. Phoenix trying to do what it can to get rid of the commander. It's not going to be too easy, though. In fact, it's going to get rid of most of its own unit. Clone's going to kill a lot of its own units in the process of doing this. Damaging the commander to about half health. No, not even half health. Barely 200 damage done to the commander. Not helping out too much. Now, on the other hand, Silencer still does have a lot of the map under his control. He did lose a lot of the economy that was pushing his overdrive. But he is not out of the game yet. And, in fact, he does have... The potential to kind of just get revenge on Clone in kind. He could send in a bunch of Phoenixes, do the exact same thing to Clone, and knock Clone down, probably win the game from there. He is trying to do it with his commander, though, not with anything else. Pushing forward, the commander's going to have no problem with any of these glaives. These are just doing nothing for him. But the Shadow, the Ravens, on the other hand, one more Raven shot, I think, is going to do it. It's. No, two more Raven shots is going to do it. Silencer's commander is pushing forward, and like I said, I'm just a bit surprised that Silencer is not responding in kind. He is trying to get rid of the Shadows and Phoenixes beforehand. Sorry, the Ravens and Phoenixes beforehand. Phoenix does get a shot off, but 
the shadow here, that's gonna be That's gonna be a pain. Not dead yet. Silence's commander is not dead yet. He does get rid of the shadow. However, it's like I said, there's no anti-air that clone has. So really, Silencer could just get through there. However, it doesn't matter, Silencer about to lose his commander. No, not quite. That bomber's gonna go for No, it's gonna go for the commander! And just barely at Oh, it was at 795 health. That was one shot away, but it goes down. Sorry, one shot one second away from not going down to that shot. Silencer just barely loses his commander. He invested a lot okay, now at this point he's got half the army cost of clone. He invested a lot in that commander. And now Clone just going for the revenge. Not sure about for the kill. Like that that was a crippling blow in the main base, but like I said, Silencer could take revenge. He could do the exact same thing. He just hasn't. Instead of focusing on getting rid of the Ravens. I don't know. Are the Ravens gonna they should be attacking these Metal Extractors pretty much individually? And yes, they are going for individual attack targeting. Nicely done there, Clone. I mean area attack, but still, that's what you want to do. That or just manually target every single metal extractor individually. And just one big volley cripple your entire opponent's metal economy. This Raven is not doing much, but it doesn't matter. Silencer throws in the towel, realizes he hasn't got much more to go for this, and Clone wins. Oh, congratulations, Clone. He was whining that he wasn't... Well, okay, whining. He was mentioning that he wasn't showing any games where he was winning. Well, I have. This, this game and the first game I showed today, he won. And that is going to be... That's going to be it for tonight. Or today. So thank you all for watching, everyone, and have a good rest of the day. Or night. Or morning. I'm not sure what the time zone is for most people watching this, but thanks for watching anyway. And have a good night, why not?